What we have is the DCS 1800 boroscope. It's a two piece wireless unit. This is your kit. It comes complete with the user's manual, some small Q tips and cleaning liquid. There is the main unit. There is the wireless probe unit, of which this cable attaches to. This is your power source. This plugs into your wall unit. This is your video output. You have a memory card and a little screwdriver. This is the wireless unit. It has indexing tab as well as five pins. Remove the cable from the pouch. You attach your cable by lining up the indexing pins. Make sure that those go in together. And you screw on this piece. This switch over here is your on and off. When you turn this on, you can adjust the intensity of the light. Main unit has a protective screen which you remove. This is your on and off switch. These are your two toggle switches. You can toggle between recorded video and still frames and you can access uh, different items on your menu screen. This switch brings up your menu and this is to escape from the menu. This is for recording video. This is recording photo stills. This is where your memory card goes in here. This is where your output to your TV. With the video, you've got three tips. These two go to your monitor. This one goes into the camera. This is your power source. This plugs into your wall unit. This plugs into here. Both of these have internal batteries, so when you're recharging the remote unit, you need to attach it to the main unit. The wireless unit clips on the back. You need to line up these things on the side, like this, and push down to lock it into the port at the bottom. Then you can attach this to your wall and both units will charge. Before you turn it on, you remove the memory card. This is the memory slot. Take your memory card, puts it in backwards. Push it until it clicks. You hold this red button down for five seconds. Unit will come to life. As you can see, the camera has image on it. Now if you want to record this, you press the record button. You'll see a camera appear down here. And this will be recording video. To stop it, I simply press the button again. If I want to take capture a still frame, depress the large button on top. You'll see the picture frame at the bottom, icon of the camera. And that's taking still pictures. When you finish recording and you want to see what you played, you can scroll backwards through the camera of what's stored on the memory chip. Well, if you didn't like this particular recording, you go in your menu, it'll allow you to delete that. You escape from that with this button. To go back into recording, you need to hit the recording button again. The camera image comes up, and now you're able to take more video or more stills. This also has a menu where you could delete all. This is your video output. You can do a date and time setup. You can select your language, video format, or auto power off. If you want to get out of the menu, you do escape. You're back into camera. When you're finished using the video boroscope, you can power off the unit by depressing the red on off switch for five seconds it will power off. When you're storing the unit you want to remove the memory card by depressing it and removing it and putting it in its case. You 
take your remote unit and just dialing back on this dial, it'll click off. You can store this unit by inserting this into the back. You can use it as a, as a complete unit also. This is your cleaning kit. There's a small cloth here for doing your main screen. There are two other items. One is a cleaning liquid and some small Q-tips. You would use these to clean the tip to remove any dust that accumulates on the tip.